This is one of the smallest long range receivers you can buy today. Check it out. It's the Happy Model Express LRS EP2 2.4 gigahertz receiver. And just for perspective, here it is compared to a Crossfire receiver. It's like nearly, it's not quite half the size, but nearly half the size. And what's so cool about it is it's got like, it's not the same range as Crossfire because Crossfire is 900 megahertz and this is 2.4 gigahertz, but it's got like tens of kilometers of range, way more range than you will probably ever need. But here's the really cool thing. Where's the antenna? Well, it turns out this little doohickey right here is the antenna. It's got a built-in ceramic antenna. And the big question we're gonna to tackle today is how does that affect the range? We know that Express LRS with a standard UFL connector, standard 2.4 gigahertz antenna can go tens of kilometers. I would never be able to fail safe it. You're gonna to need to go to somebody like Wesley Vardy to get like long range test results. But what I'm gonna do in this video is Let's just take it out and fly it. Let's do some informal, not range testing, but is this, is this good enough? That's the question. Is it good enough to just do what I do on a daily basis, which I think is pretty typical of what a lot of people do. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. All right, for the record, we are on 250 milliwatts. We are on 250 hertz, and the receiver is mounted above the video transmitter. Here we go. Oh, hallelujah, there we go. I was having some trouble with my rates, which led to a couple of false starts. All right, so let's just, uh, you know, let's fly out there. We'll look at the LQ in the lower right, RSSI low. What does that mean? Hey there folks, Joshua from the future here. Uh, what it means is that I didn't set beta flight up so that its RSSI warning threshold would be correct for what we're doing with Express LRS. This will not in any way affect the usable range of the signal. It just means we're gonna see RSSI low up there. It's a false alert. You should just ignore it. The LQ is still super valid. And in fact, I am working on a video inspired by this experience showing you how to set up your RSSI thresholds, your LQ and so forth, and how to verify that you are getting the kind of performance out of your Express LRS receiver that you should. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. It's gonna be coming out in the next week or so. LQ looks okay. Should I be concerned about RSSI low? If LQ is okay, well, let's fly down near the ground. So if I fail safe, I will uh, not will fall too far and ruin this quad. Derp a derp. Looking pretty good. Yeah. 90 on the LQ. Derp a derp a derp. Oh yeah, LQ is looking good. RSSI low, but usually if LQ is hanging in there, you can ignore RSSI. Oh, there, LQ is going bonkers. It's that's pretty far. Could probably go a little further if I knew what the LQ threshold was for failsafe, but I'm not interested in walking to go get this guy. And the reason that I don't know what the LQ threshold is, where Express LRS is gonna fail safe, is that there isn't a fixed LQ threshold where you're gonna fail safe. The way LQ works, and this is true for Crossfire, Ghost, Express LS, it's true for all of them, is that the LQ is basically a measure of how many of your data packets are getting through. At LQ of 100, 100% of your data packets are getting through. At LQ of zero, 0% 0 are getting through. And you can see that if you're willing to tolerate some amount of micro fail safes and stutters in your controls, then you could fly at a fairly low LQ. Whereas if you're flying proximity and you need just the absolute most responsiveness, you want a higher LQ. I'm working on this, this same video that I told you about earlier about setting up RSSI and LQ thresholds in Express LRS. I'll talk more about what your LQ should be when you turn around in that video. But for now, what I decided to do is as soon as I saw it go from 100 to 95, and then it started going 60, 70, 60, 90, I was like, okay, well, that's probably where we're, we should probably turn around. 
have to acknowledge that if I had been higher up in the air, obviously I would have gone a lot further. Being down near the ground compromises your coverage, but this test, it's not really a range test anyway, so. So yeah, I mean the range looks like it's maybe comparable to good old free sky. Uh, this is at 250 milliwatts, so some uh, modules can go up to one watt and would push that even further. Well, that was way less range than people using Express LRS are used to getting. Uh, even if we could have gone twice that far before we actually fail-safed, uh, still, Express LRS is just range for days. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, plenty for racing and for casual freestyle. Let's find out. RSSI low, but I don't care because I got LQ and that's all that matters. If I fail safe, I'm gonna feel dumb. Where's the place I go that has the lowest signal? Is it back here? Do -do -do -do. I really don't want to fail six. six no, see, I'm like at 100% LQ. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, that's good. Whoa, that was exciting. Oh, that was exciting too. So what's the takeaway from this? Uh, I know that people who do rigorous range testing have had this similar setup out to say three kilometers, I think is what I heard. The ceramic antenna is not gonna get the same coverage as a proper uh, antenna, wire antenna, especially when it's mounted up inside the quad. But especially for racing, it's clearly more than adequate. And like, where are you gonna use this? You're not gonna use this on a five inch, you can, but the real benefit is gonna be using it on something like a tiny whoop where you don't have room to mount a bigger antenna. Is that more range than you usually get off a tiny whoop? And this thing weighs like a half a gram. So, ceramic antenna, is it right for you? Hopefully this helps you decide. If you're pushing long range, obviously no. If you're doing casual stuff or, or extremely lightweight builds, maybe yes. Link in the video description to the stuff I'm using and some tutorials. Like, how do I, what is Express LRS? Is, should you be using it? If you are using it, how do you set it up and how do you flash it? I got all that stuff. It's down in the video description. It's linked. Let me just throw my hair back here. <sighs> Happy flying. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or. Like, just, here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.